Welcome back, y'all, to some more Batman Arkham Knight. We last left off, we had to deal with the Joker's loud, annoying ass method. One thing I forgot to mention earlier on is I have the Harley Quinn story pack. Uh, I don't know if I'll do anything with that, and I know there's like some Under the Red Hood packs. Like I said, that's just all DLC. We'll see how far I go with it. The Harley Quinn pack, because I already have it, is something I'm definitely considering doing. I can use the Batmobile forensic scanner to follow them. But we'll have to wait and see. I'm not so sure exactly. Yeah, the Joker was kind of annoying last video. <laughs> I literally tried avoiding him by jumping out the roof, and he was waiting up there for me. Like, what is that? Master Bruce, he has presumably chosen that title for a reason. Where do you suggest we start? Arkham City. Go through the files of every inmate who was released following the death of Hugo Strange and Alfred. Yes, sir. They knew about Barbara. Activate the Batcave security protocols. Don't drop your guard. Whoops, went a little bit too far. So yeah, we got this little, like, sci-fi shit where we now basically have to follow trails all over the place. Alfred, the militia have deployed a device. It's burrowed deep into the road. Yes, I see it. Similar devices are being planted across the city. I'll investigate. Only one way to jump out, right? Even though it was a little bit overkill, I felt like it was necessary entirely. It's a bomb, Alfred. A well-armored one. Oh dear. In that case, sir, should you really be standing quite so close? I'm going to set up a remote link to the bat computer and hit it with every virus we've got. Once we're hacked in, I can expose the core and defuse it with a controlled explosion. Very good, sir. Though I should warn you that the militia has already deployed a platoon of its unmanned tanks to stop you. They won't. Alright, so now we get a bomb to deal with you. There's one thing I have always thought about. Destabilize the device. Hold up. Yeah, so now we gotta defend us. But yeah, the one thing I never really talked about with you guys is how how much of a fan I am. I don't know who your favorite superhero is. My favorite superhero is Green Lantern. I'm pretty sure a lot of you know. That's DC wide. My favorite superhero Marvel wise is Spider Man. And closely behind that's Daredevil. I just like the concept behind the characters, cause Spider Man's abilities. And then Daredevil obviously because of who he is and his story is just so special, you know, like a guy splashed by chemicals in the eyes, and then he can instantly just see far better than any man, despite not having an eyesight. Like, it's crazy. In a manner of speaking, Daredevil is blind, but then he also isn't, if you think about it. It's, it's cool. It balances itself out. And Marvel did a phenomenal job with him on Netflix. Binge watched a lot of that. I remember I was waiting until 12.01 a.m., and a guy on Twitter said to them, Hey, waiting, you know, five minutes, and it's on, and someone said, Yeah, the guys that that ran the Daredevil Twitter were like, oh yeah, about that. It's not going to come out till 3.01 a.m. Why it came out too early? Like, I don't know, but I stayed up, waited, watched it, fell asleep around like 6 in the morning, woke up, ordered some pizza, some Domino's, had some soda with that, and watched the entire thing. Speaking of which, I'm going to try and get some pizza tomorrow. It's actually what I'm in the mood for right now. The bomb's payload is exposed. I can use the power winch to trigger a controlled explosion. And we got to do this again. But I kind of get the hang of it. Wait, wait, come on, come on, keep going, keep going. A little bit more. Nice, there we go. Well, it's too difficult now. You think that's it, Dark Knight? I've got this whole city wire to blow. Try and disarm the explosives, and you'll face even more of my drones. You see, I've waited years. No one is taking this from me. I'll get a charred crater if they try. Sir, that warning was broadcast publicly. I suspect the Arkham Knight wishes to discourage outside intervention. Back up! It's the bat! Try! Try! Yeah, we got these guys every now and then. I basically just run around. I don't know why they bother. Like, you're not gonna outrun the Batmobile, but... Hey, man, whatever they feel is gonna work. I like how when you run by them, it, like, shocks them. It's kind of cool. Alfred, the Arkham Knight's trail leads into Miyagani Island. Lower the Mercy Bridge. I, I can't, sir. We're locked out. The militia must have hardwired into the transport control system. Find me their access point. Right. 
Tracing the network traffic, it seems to have all been rerouted to Grand Avenue Station. Then that's where they'll be. I'll proceed on foot and take over their access point. I'll contact you when you're able to lower the bridge. Be careful, sir. Mirgani Island is rife with militia drones and troops. And now we are kind of slipping away from the Batmobile for a bit. That's kind of good. I don't like being by the Batmobile too much. I mean, as much as I love it, it, sh it could kind of take away a little bit. Yeah, I'll let you know that uh, the Arkham Knights definitely... You have to be someone close to Batman to know this much about him. Like, I already knew that when they announced this game and I saw the gameplay for it. And I saw how he knew so much about Batman. I'm like, there's no way you know all of that. Unless you're Batman yourself or you've been very close to him and you got all that information. Because remember, Batman's the one who had files on the entire Justice League on how to beat them. Well, neutralize them. You know what? I'm about to be really ballsy and just fly in. The Arkham Knights militia. And clear them out. Find the access point they're using to hack into the transport network. Yep, that was really ballsy of me. But I know that I could trap them on. That's another thing. You could trap them when they're coming up ladders, and just keep on hitting them. Actually, I want to try and see if I can get as many of them as I can into. Well, let me go get this guy real quick. Want to try and see if I can get a multi takedown on them, but they're not really grouping up to the point where I need them to. Yeah, man, I'm playing this a lot better than I did the first time around. You know, I'm about to do multi takedown right here. Or maybe I don't have to. Nope, I don't have to. About to just take out these couple guys real quick. Two guys left. We should check on the guy Batman took out. Target's moving! I need help! No! Ow. Wow. <laughs> you saw how he basically just blocked for no reason. One more guy. And you know how we do it. The last guy always gets the worst. Get up, get up. Not done with you yet. There we go. That's a lot better. Got some more upgrade points. How many do I have? Two. That's nothing. I need to get that up. With the that is not nearly enough. Of, I can use their uplink terminal to lower the bridges. They could bring in the Batmobile and kick some drone ass. And there's the Joker. Go figure. Isn't that Barbara's job? Oh, it's fun. Interesting how they decided to bring him back like that. <laughs> I wonder how long you need to be in this game for. Jimbo's gonna forgive you if you save her. He holds a garage bat. I should know. Alfred, I've re-enabled the bridge controls. Marvelous. I'm rebooting the network now. Forget Scarecrow. It's time to face your one true nemesis, Batman. Oh dear. Is that who I think it is? Enigma. Contact me when you're ready with the bridge. Riddle me this. Why would a Batman visit an abandoned orphanage? Eddie, sweetie, you confuse me with Robin. The big guy and I aren't all that close. Oh, oh, I know. It's because of what will happen to his feline friend if he doesn't get here in time. Shot, Dark Knight? Stunned? <laughs> you didn't expect this, did you? That is because you are no match for me, Edward Nigma, the Riddler, and your intellectual superior. Did you think I would just forget our last meeting, Dark Knight? You humiliate me! I know you will not beat me this time. It is utterly impossible. You cannot do it. I have won already! I will mock your attempts to solve my conundrum. I will stand triumphant over your bloody corpse. And as the dim light fades for good in your tiny dullard's mind, your final thought will be how I have bested you. Come to the orphanage, detective, or she dies.
What really would have been interesting is if you could choose the skin for Joker. All right. Is that the orphanage or what's, what's going on here? Hold on. Let me check. Let's see. Where are we going? Rescue Oracle from the Arkham Knight. Oh, I can't save Selena's Catwoman yet. still trapped at the orphanage. Together, we'll get her out. All right, well, I guess we'll do that afterwards because I do want to get at least one side mission in here. I want to kind of level up and get some more upgrades, and I'm definitely going to be uh, trying to get them all. I don't know if I'll complete them all before the end of the game's campaign because I know you can get the Nightfall ending at the end of the game if you do it all beforehand, but I don't know. The Riddler is a whole other thing. A bat killer, maybe? That's what you call a guy who takes down the bat. Riddler has Catwoman. Tell me why. I don't know anything, I swear. I just tied her up and left her inside. Why? What's Nigma's play? I ain't got a clue. I just brought her here and planted someone else's trophies nearby. That's it. You gotta believe me. I do. You know how strong you'd have to be to lift up a guy one arm like that? It's pretty crazy, man. See, now Nigma's Nigma is coming into play. I call it Nigma. Oh, that's why, because it already had it set. We were already coming together. All right. Uh, I always make it a point to stay off of plates and stuff like that, especially when it comes to Nigma. Batman? That had better be you. And you had better be sorry. Keep still. Are you okay? Perfect. What little girl doesn't dream of being bait for her strapping dark night? We're leaving. You might be, but I'm not. Ah, both contestants are finally here. Tonight, folks, we've got riddles galore. But first, let me introduce my beautiful assistants. Ah, I'm growing tired of my dependence upon the least useless dregs I can scrape from Gotham's utterly uninspired underbelly. I still don't know what the fuck those are, man. When you can design... No matter. Gonna jump up all their asses. And that's one thing at this game... Is really nice for is how you can actually change characters. You're not just playing as Batman the entire time. I could play as Catwoman, which I aim to do presently. There we go. Got a special takedown with her too. What a pair you made. All right, who would win? Black Widow or Catwoman? Go. No doubt you enjoyed that, Detective. It's the most fun you'll have all night. You see, Dark Knight, this feisty felonious feline has been fitted with a shiny new collar. With each challenge you complete, you'll get one little key. Collect every key and the kitty goes free. Remove it too soon and the kitty goes boom! <laughs> yeah, this is a cutscene I must have neglected to watch because I don't remember that collar at all. Take that rocket fuel roadster of yours and make your way to the cauldron train yard. My first test is waiting. I'll come back for you. Stay here. I'm wearing a bomb, Batman. Of course I'm staying here. Go get my keys. Well, I guess that's going to play a key part in the side missions. Yeah, we'll definitely do that. Going to grab a couple of those. I think the trophies have something to do with that, but I'm not too sure. I'm gonna have to make it a point to get some of those. Of the Good work. I'll contact you when I'm in position at Mercy Bridge. Going back to the bridge. Whoa, and we got Joker. Boy. Well, actually, no, now's a good time. Let's see what's going on here. We can get his cauldron trainer. I could do that. I could do this. I could do that. Well, that's my overall progress. Okay. <laughs> Locate and rescue missing members of Station 17 Fire Crew. I could do some of that. Why not? 
and went to this rescue org from Arkham Knight. You know what? For right now, I'm going to stay on the main path because I'm already on this island, which is where this takes place. But when we get back, that's when I'm going to go try some of the something new. Personally, I go see Eddie's latest contrived death gauntlet. I'm sure he went to a lot of trouble. Besides, save all of Barbara. I killed half of her already. <laughs> Joker is just like that guy that gets into your head, man. He's just in this game to say shit to you, just to be in your ear the entire time. Like, he doesn't play anything special. He's just in your ear. Yeah, I got good at gliding. I got said good. I got good at gliding back from when I played Arkham City with the Demon Trials. That's when it kind of gives you, like, that little tutorial on dive bombing and how it helps you. I watched a video the other day of somebody going back to the asylum. They basically just did this over and over again. The asylum looked rather small. Uh oh, I'm not making it. Come on. Yeah, I made it. Alfred, I'm at the bridge. Duly noted. I managed to access the files Miss Gordon was working on before her abduction. It would seem she found a weakness in the drone, sir. A direct hit from the Vulcan gun on their sensor array should destroy them with a single shot. Which I did before earlier on. Did it right there again. I think it's pretty much the purple light. If you shoot at the purple light, combustionization occurs. All right, we gotta go back to get this back on the road. There we go. Headshot, baby. <laughs> I guess what the equivalent of a headshot would be for a drone, right? See, I have this problem where I play these games so late at night that it's like I forget to sleep sometimes. I'm playing this currently at 4 a.m. Playing for the last couple hours, getting ahead on vids. No, before you guys assume that I'm planning on doing another uploading spree. No, I'm not doing that. I don't want you guys to complain about your sub boxes being overloaded with Uncharted or Batman videos. Even though I think some of you guys would enjoy it. I just don't feel like doing it again. I want this game, like I said, just last a little bit longer. I want to really just get back up to where I was before I started recording this game. I like how it shows the threat level in the corner. That's kind of cool. Let's you know how many enemies are around. All right. Is there anybody else that needs to get blown up? Kind of wasted it on those two, but whatever. Oh, it got me. Try to dodge that. Get those instant kills in there. Let's go. Trying to avoid them as much as I can. I don't feel like wasting unnecessary time. Because my time is precious. These guys are persistent. I'll give them that. They won't leave me the hell alone. Target disappeared. He's there. Find him. Perhaps you don't want to find me. swerved and crashed up ahead. Car's empty. The Arkham Knight must have taken Oracle and moved on. I really hope that those don't come back to kill me. closely. The car veered off an empty road. Why? Looks like the driver wasn't wearing his seatbelt. I should find the body. Fortunately, because I already know everything pretty much is. Once again, one of those things I regret not playing is blind. Sorry, right, though. 
It's a hybrid. It's blind and it's not blind at the same time. The right side of the driver's face. Oracle must have been in the passenger seat and deliberately caused the crash. Clever. I should check the area where she was sitting. The door was torn off during the crash. If I can find where it came to rest, I can determine exactly what happened. Right here. If I went any further, however, I would have went into the water. Torn cleanly off the hinges. The door must have been opened before the crash. Oracle got out. I need to examine the reconstruction. Pinpoint where she landed. So the concept of this is pretty cool. I could imagine if this was in real life. This is actually like... I wonder he's the greatest detective ever, because look at this shit. He's recreating stuff that happened in the past to figure out what's going to happen in the future. Oracle got free of the vehicle before the crash. stopped here someone took a shot at her I should analyze the point of impact for ballistic evidence the caliber of the weapon is a match for the Arkham Knight sidearm the trajectory and impact velocity points to a shooter that matches his height at this range he couldn't have missed a warning shot. <laughs> I've missed something. Oracle knew she couldn't escape, but she caused this crash for a reason. She must have left a clue while crawling away. Yeah, right here, at first I found this part to be a pain in the ass, because I was going back and forth really quickly, and, like, look how fast you see that. Like, you don't see it to be anything, right? Then I went back in slow-mo, and you see her throw that to the side. Yeah, because I knew that was the only way I was going to find that. It took me a minute to find that the first time going through this. Lucius, Oracle left me the scrambler device at the scene of the crash. Decrypt the data so I can pinpoint the Arkham Knight's location. Ah, this kind of thing was more Miss Gordon's specialty. I'll see what I can do, but it'll take me a little while. I'll meet you at Wayne Tower when you're ready. Alfred, give me an update on Gotham's most wanted. One moment, sir. Right, these two are just in. A mysterious hooded figure has been spotted on a rooftop in Grand Avenue. He appears to be standing beside a burning bat symbol, sir. It might be wise to establish whether this interloper is friend or foe. Reports are also coming in of a blaze at the Bristol fire station. One suspects arson, sir, as the power to the building has been cut, disabling the fire suppression system. You may wish to investigate. Yep, and uh, that is Israel, I believe. It's a good assumption. Investigate reports of an arsonist loose in Gotham. That might be Firefly. Who knows? There was another one. Didn't he say there was another one? Yeah, there we go. Reports of mass vigilante in Gotham. All right. Someone we come back. A burning bat symbol on the Gamby store rooftop. A beacon or a threat? Time to find out. Yeah, when we come back, we'll definitely be going to find that out. So don't don't forget to subscribe and come back to check out who it is standing next to that burning bat symbol. See you there.